Friedrich Mose was born in 1773, lived an interesting life in what we call Germany today, and then he died in 1839, in the place that we call Italy today. We celebrate Friedrich Mose, because he invented the world's hardest test. His story is much like the apocryphal story about Archimedes running naked through the streets yelling Eureka, which means, I found it. Perhaps you will recall that the king of Syracuse was concerned that he had been cheated by the goldsmith. The king asked Archimedes if he could devise a way to tell if some of the gold in his crown had been diluted with silver. The king of Syracuse probably should have invested more time in taking care of business than worrying about a little gold here, and there. But greed is an interesting thing as we will soon see again. As Archimedes was lowering himself into the bath, he noticed that his body pushed aside or displaced an equal volume of water as his body. All that he needed to do now was submerge the crown, and then weigh it and he would know if it was pure gold. According to the story, Archimedes had discovered density. Now there are many things that are wrong with this story. Most especially that Archimedes never wrote about it. But he did spend a great deal of time lowering things into water, and taking measurements. Archimedes did discover density. But back to this greed thing. It's the same with Friedrich Mose, only different. The emperor asked him if there was a way to know if the precious stones in his crown had been replaced with lesser quality gems. So Mose developed the scratch test. That is, harder things will scratch softer things. Mose gathered large samples of known minerals and started scratching away. But he was discreet about it. The hardest one that he found was diamond, and he gave it a number of 10. That is, he could not find anything that would scratch a diamond. Talcum was found to be the softest. And it was given a number of 1. That is, Mose could find nothing that talcum would scratch. The other minerals in the collection were lined up between the two, and numbers were assigned. Chalk is a bit harder than talcum, and was given the number 2 on the Mohs hardness scale. Your fingernail is about a 2.5 on the Mohs hardness scale. The mineral appetite is the same hardness as human teeth. Which makes it easy to remember. You know. Appetite. Teeth. Food. And appetite was given the number 5 on the Mohs hardness scale. Mose was able to prove to the emperor that his precious stones were in fact authentic. The emperor probably should have invested more time in taking care of emperor type business, rather than being worried about a few gemstones. But that is just the way that some people are. The Mose hardness scale is still in wide use today. Because it is a quick and an easy test to check for hardness. All that it takes is a collection of 10 minerals and a quick scratch. More exacting hardness scales have been developed but they require laboratory equipment. Interestingly enough, when pure carbon is arranged to form graphite, it is soft and comes in at about 1.4 on the Mohs hardness scale. But those same pure carbon atoms can be arranged so that they make diamond, which up until recently was thought to be the hardest substance. However, we now know something that is harder than diamond. And it too is made from pure carbon atoms. Graphene is pure carbon and was made in the lab at the University of Manchester in 2004. And it earned a Nobel Prize for the scientists in 2010. The uses and value of graphene have yet to be fully realized. But we know graphene to be more than 100 times stronger than steel. Graphene has unique electrical properties. And graphene currently holds the title of the hardest substance in the known universe. Graphene only exists in small quantities currently. But give, time, time. There was a time in the not so distant past that aluminum was more precious than gold. Additionally, there was a time in the not so distant past that we scratched things with sandpaper that was made from sand. Which is quartz. Which is a 7 on the Mohs hardness scale. Today we make our sandpaper with aluminum rust. Which has a hardness of 9 on the Mohs hardness scale. Encourage science research. By the way, pure gold is 2.5 on the Mohs hardness scale. And so is your fingernail. This is why we mix metals into gold to make it harder. When we mix two different metals together we call that alloying. And it makes a metal that we call an alloy. In another lesson, we will take a look at how mixing things, even two soft things, can make something that is even harder than the two alone.